Oh, an event. Well then. Okay. Well, hello and welcome back to Bluegrass Farm with me, your host, Hillhelm. Here we are in the 15th day of year one spring. Half income run. I think we're doing pretty well. Weather report clear and sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller today. Neutral and living off the land. Salmon berry season. Oh, no. My favorite thing to do is gather berries. Uh-oh. Hello, dear. I know you're getting started as a gardener. I wanted to give you a tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your crops will die out. Plan ahead. I will do my best to plan ahead. Oops, wrong one. Hello, cat. Oh, I see salmon berries already. I see them. I cannot resist them in my life. Come here to me, berries. Come, come to me. I love you so. Oh, yes. Cannot resist the allure of the berry. <coughs> oh, sorry for that. A little bit of a dry spot. Oh, I think we already took a large brown egg over to the community center, did we not? I believe so. Let's just double check. Yes, we did. So that means that we can make both of these into mayonnaise. Perfect. Let the watering begin! So, here we are, friends, joyously and carefully watering our way to victory here in Stardew Valley, otherwise known as lots of strawberries. That's... All right. Well, I guess uh, we're going to need some more crops again. I'm sensing a theme. Get more crops. That's the name of the theme. That is not the right... Are you just a... Oh. Oh, ho! Oh, ho, ho, ho! We have ten now. Excellent. We can now go and put ten acorns into the community center. That's great. All right. Well, back to watering. This will probably use the majority of our energy, but then we will drink some mayonnaise <laughs> and we'll get some back. And I, I guess we go mining at that point. Is that, is that what I'm doing today? Probably. Who planted all these crops? Whose idea was this? Boy, what a, what a terrible idea that was by that person. Oh my goodness. Be a lot easier if we had, you know. A well, <laughs> which is a thousand. Who has money for that? No water again. Man. <coughs> oh, hang on a second. I need a drink. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I do have always uh, water or tea or... Uh, a soda, a pop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one of one of them down here with me when recording. Because, you know, the voice does get a little tired doing all the talking. I do record usually several episodes in a row. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, today is no exception. I've been trying to get out enough content to last a couple of weeks here with one 1 1.6 video a day. That is not sustainable forever, but uh, for, you know, I'm hoping at least the first couple weeks of 1.6 being out, we can get that done. And that would be super awesome. Running out of water repeatedly is not super awesome, however. Look at that, it's already 1030. <coughs> we are not going to get off the farm until, uh, gosh, probably like noon. Is this even enough water? I don't know. This really is like all of our energy. Just to go on the same floor over and over and over and over and over again to try to get copper. <laughs> is, that, is that how we're going to do that? Not even try to progress down floors at this point. Just try to get copper. Oh my. Well, the forage seeds are growing. That's great. 
Do we plant more of those? Do I ignore salmon berry season for the first time in my Stardew YouTube life? Boy. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough call either way, isn't it, really? Those of you who have been around for a while know of my deep love for salmon berries and, and blackberries. You can, can really get a lot of money from them if you uh, utilize them. Uh, if you can get your foraging skill up, use some pancakes, get the, the bear knowledge. Uh, boy, it really just... It really just adds up quickly. Right, what are we selling? We're selling all... Oh, no, not those. Oh, we only need one more. Okay. That's pretty perfect. And then over here, let's see. We need this. We need this. We're gonna bring... We're gonna bring the hoe with me. Wow, that was fun. Okay, what else? This goes to the community center. We're gonna bring that for some energy. We're gonna bring that for some more energy. This goes to the community center. anything else go to the community center that we're aware of i don't well yeah hey technically but no and then we need all of the things for robins so stone clay what do we need for a silo uh copper clay and stone okay we have all those things copper clay and stone off we go! We're gonna go to Pierre's first. Is what we're gonna do. Oh, let's go up here. Let's grab this. Hello. You know, for some reason, my brain expected Pam to be on that screen. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Harvey. Do you like these? That's a nice gift. Oh, you're welcome. Ooh, 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 ooh. Berry. Berry, 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 berry. Yes. Give me the berries. Let me eat them. Free energy. They say it's a myth, but no, in Stardew it's real. <laughs> Wait, didn't somebody want something and I was like, I could I could deliver that? Hang on, what was that? <laughs> an amethyst? Uh okay, I don't think that's gonna happen. Right. Sell the sell the things. I dropped that off, right? Yeah, okay. So what do we buy? We're running low on time for those. Uh, let's get some of these. I don't. I don't know how many we need. We'll just. We'll just stock up on some seeds, I guess. Okay, community center next, and then Robin, and then the mine. And we'll keep our eyes peeled for salmon berries along the way. So we're not so much hunting them out today as just randomly collecting. Right. This eel needs to go here in night fishing. I think the walleye is not till the fall, I'm pretty sure. And the dye bundle is where the beet goes. We need some amrath. Oh boy, that's some expensive stuff. Look at this. Whew. Okay, well... Oh, oh, we have the, the ten. Oh boy, this is, this is dangerous, Hillhome. You should have just gone. You should have just left. Forest bundle. Yes, perfect. All right, that part's done. Ooh, that's the bridge repair. Okay. To get to the quarry. We got time, though. Obviously, we're not going to make it over there you know, any time before fall. Hi, Maru. I don't have your amethyst. I'm sorry. I didn't remember to bring it. I feel bad. I would like the 300, though. That would be great. Aha! Coal. Well, then. Hello. Wow, it's a party. I would really like a silo, please. All right, where are we going to put it? Um, I think for now, we're just going to put it here. We're going to... We'll move it later. Wait, is there room? Can I? I mean, yeah, we could. The chicken's in the way. I could put it there, but I think... No, I think for now we're going to put it next to the house. Just for ease of checking. Okay, so that's all good. 
And over here was some horseradish. Now, yeah, oh, we do need to go mining, though. I need more copper so we can upgrade, upgrade our tools. Oh, there's one out there. Well, I don't want to walk that far. We're just going to the mine. Well, it's a horseradish day up here in the north. Very nice. Okay, so where do we go? 15, I guess, and let's just try... Try to... Well, lots of... Lots of fun enemies down here. <laughs> Doubly blocked by giant rocks. Always fun. Uh, nope. No copper there. Aha! You have become... an enemy. Could you fly over here, please? I would be more than glad to smack you. And take your bug meat with great joy. Okay. Now, how about that ancient seed, huh? Let's... Let's get one of those going. Do you see copper over here? Perfect. Ooh, a rock grab. A cherry bomb, huh? And a and a crab? Okay. Well, let's use that, I don't know, like right there. See what we get? Not much. Alright. It was worth a try. When we get real low on energy, we will eat eat the mayonnaise. Eat slash drink the mayonnaise. More combat points. Here we go. Wabam! Beautiful. There's the exit of the level. Always get these. Oh, speaking of Maru. I wonder if we could find her real fast. Get that 300... Get that 300 gold. That's, uh, that's kind of a lot, you know? Yeah, let's hit you this way. Smack. There's what we're looking for. Alright, I suppose we'll have one now. Just to make sure that we're good to go. We are on floor 18. Now, if I remember correctly, floor 19 is one of those, like, spiral floors that I intensely dislike early in the game. I don't mind it later in the game, but early in the game like this, they just take forever to walk all the way around. So I attempt to not have to do that, and I just search for staircases right away whenever as soon as I find when I leave the level usually. There is a bug chasing us. Sadly, nothing useful yet. And by useful what I mean is ancient seeds. <laughs> I need an ancient seed game. Give me the seeds. Wow, this one's moving quick. I mean, like a beeline for us. And that was pretty funny the other day in Helldivers 2. My buddy and I were playing and... There's a bunch of new flying enemies and they appeared and uh, they flew past some of our other friends just to attack me. It was not... It was not enjoyable. Many bad words may have been said. And I died. <laughs> Oh, man. Pretty funny. Alright, so, staircase. There we go. you think you'd be here. Look, yeah, I was right. Yeah, look at this spiral floor. I'm not a fan of the spiral floor this early, as I said, be just because it takes so long to get around. There's usually some really good stuff inside the barrels in the middle, but it takes a while to, uh, 
you know, get to the barrels. <clears throat> so, I don't usually try to try to do that. Plus, now, as usual, we are running low on energy. So the sooner that we can find uh, any kind of staircase, the better. I think we're going to have to eat all of these, probably. <clears throat> Maybe not all of them, but well, we'll eat half of them, anyway. Salmon berries, great for early game energy. They require no extra time or processing. You just got to go pick them. Or grab them off a bush, and uh, there, they, there you go. Instant energy in your inventory. All right, game. Anytime you want to pop a staircase my way, I will. I will be excited about that. Come on now, let's go. Give me the staircase. Give me a staircase. There it is. Oh yes, we're on floor twenty, and we got the small sword. Now the question is, is the small sword better than this? 9 to 16, 8 to 4. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up as a no. So do we sell it? Hmm. Do we just walk over next door and be like, Hey, Gunther. I found a sword. I don't think I want it. Which one's worth more money? 100 or 50? Well, Gunther agrees... Okay, 8 to 15. <sighs> tempting. Very tempting. 8 to 15. What is this other one? 8 to 16? 9 to 16? Hmm. I'm going to guess that that sword swings faster, too. Well, that's okay. I wonder if Linus is still awake. Hey, Linus, are you awake? Would you like a horseradish? Here you go. No, he's sleeping. <laughs> Darn. Oh, a possum. Oh, that was fun. Uh, that's new. Pretty sure. Don't remember possums. It's always funny, too, to say, oh, possum. Because, you know, that's how it's spelled. It's spelled with an O in the front. Oh, possum. Just like a silent O. At least everyone I know just says possum. A possum? I, know, I guess you kind of say it, but it's not like you say, oh, possum, you know? I, I hope that made sense. Especially to those of you friends who may not be native English-speaking friends. Right, so we did... We did have a little bit of extra space down here that we can plant even more of these... And then I think there was one spot there and one spot there. Perfect. Right then. Well, we are definitely going to need more mayonnaise tomorrow morning for all of the hard watering that we're going to have to do. <laughs> so much work out here. All right. Let's grab this and this. You know, I was going to make another furnace, but no, never mind. Let's actually just, let's just make some bars. Oh, the kitty cat's on my bed. Sleepy head. Level four farming. There's the preserve jar. Nice. We have to make at least one of those. I would prefer a couple. It's a Tuesday. Weather report. Beautiful and sunny. Fortune teller. Spirits are displeased. Oh, that's unfortunate. Being said, we can do that. What do we got here? I hope you're feeling settled near your new home. Ready to let you know Pierre's is now selling fertilizer. Why don't you come swing by? Well, before that, how about we grab some more of these? And then what we can do is we can grab these seeds that we with our great foresight purchased ahead of time. And we can plant them. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right. Uh what was the weather supposed to be? Is it are you are you sunny tomorrow? Dang. I was hoping for rain, not gonna lie. 
All right, cat. Tiger, the cat, welcome. Here you are. Have some water. Time to stock back up on our acorns. Pretty sure those are both things we don't need. All right. There's some more over here. Yeah, we have really got to start getting this managed. Maybe we just work on the farm today. Maybe we just use our energy for the good of the farm. Aha! A large white egg. Excellent. We can take that to the community center and drop it off. Here we are. And back to watering. Okay. Well. This number of strawberries may have been overzealous. <laughs> but I'm hoping in the end it works out in our favor. I've not I've not done the mass strawberry strategy very often. Mainly because I I enjoy other other crops more. I mean, usually what I do the first year, instead of snowballing it, is I actually uh, sort of slow down the growth uh, financially of what I'm trying to do. And if I buy strawberries, I just hold on to them until the next spring. Because I know that then you get more harvests out of them. Which is important to me. I'm really excited about this silo going in, by the way. That is great. And I need iron. We're gonna need bat wings too, and a lot more foraging. So yeah, maybe we just just cut down a bunch of trees today, maybe? I don't know. We definitely need more acorns. That's... That's for sure. <laughs> Gotta get that done soon. So we can be where we need to be when the time comes to start getting resin. We will be equipped and ready to go. Oh, the sounds of busy work on the farm. Watering crops. Building buildings, chickens, chickening, or whatever they're doing. Okay, let's let's remove a couple of these uh, <clears throat> not important spots here. There we go. It is the 16th, but it's the middle of the season already. Wow. Time flies when you're watering crops, I guess. Now, I don't think we'll do it this first year, but certainly year two's goal will be to get all the rare crows. Would like to have them. Get the deluxe rare crow. I was short by one rare crow in the mixed seed playthrough of getting the deluxe scarecrow, and that's because I didn't go to the flower dance. I always forget one of the rare crows is there. And so I don't think to go to the dance because I, I just don't, I don't know. Unless, yeah, the first year especially, like, it's very difficult, it's very challenging to be in a spot in your friendship with someone that you can uh, be able to uh, go and dance with them at the very first flower dance ever held in your playthrough. It's not impossible, it's just difficult. Speaking of impossible... As opposed to difficult. Uh, we're going to have to eat a couple salmon berries here. <laughs> Almost out of energy. I will eat some more. Thank you. Pretty solid as far as that goes. Let's grab some more water. We're going to go back up and finish watering the crops. And then I think we're just going to cut down some trees. I don't think we're going to meander too far off the farm today, actually. 
Okay, let's quick stack things there. Let's put this away. Let's save that one. So we're gonna need we're gonna need one for the luau. So let's save that. Put that back in there. That needs to go to the community center. Yeah, okay, perfect. We'll trade that for the axe. Now, what do I need for this? Wood, coal, stone, and coal. Okay. Well, I think we only need one. And then we need wood. Wood, 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 wood. Oh, we just barely have enough. Okay. Put that away. Grab out that mayonnaise. Enjoy it. That is a ton of energy back. Oh, that's so good. Now, what do we do? Um, go with you. Just make you into a... Age drill. Alright. Here's the plan. We are going to go over to the community center and we are going to drop off this egg. But first... Check over here for some salmon berry bushes. And rejoice that we have found many of them. It's a, it's a good amount. A little bit more energy in our life. And I think we start... Let's start... Well, this is going to be maple, but... That's okay. We'll cut this one down because it's way up here and I, I won't think about it otherwise. Now, do these give you... Do, do you give me seeds? I could really use... Really use some seeds for me. I, I really use an acorn is what I'm trying to say, okay? You want to give me an acorn, please? That would be awesome. Oh, oh, we got... We got two acorns. Oh, lovely. Yes, please. More acorns into my life. This is what we need, game. Give me all your acorns. And we got none that time. Darn it. <laughs> it's the little things, really. I need an acorn. That's what we need. Oh, hello. There's forage. Oh, and there's a Haley. Oh, Haley. Would you like this lovely flower? I found it just for you. For me, thank you. Oh, you are so welcome. Salmon berries. Perfect. I don't think I can cut down that tree. More salmon berries. Even more. Yes. Let the power of the berry flow through you. Okay, the egg goes over here, I believe. There's like a bundle for animals or something. Yes. And perfect. Okay, so now we just need, um, you know, more animals. Or the traveling cart to be super, super kind to us, which probably it will be. I did set it to allow me to try to do everything in one year, so... There is a strong possibility that that will work out for us. Ah, there's fish there. Lovely. Maru, I'm sorry I didn't bring you your amethyst. I feel like a failure. But I will still say, would you like this flower? Thanks. You're welcome. What about here? Green algae. Okay, you know what? Fine. We will... We will do the green algae. I'm not sure why Emily wants a green algae, but we do have plenty of it. And normally it doesn't really have a, a usage. So... Not a problem. Okay, we can put these away. That's good. Got a little bit more... A little bit more wood. Definitely gonna need more. I would like at least one more preserve jar, for instance. Very excited about that double acorn we got, too. Gotta, gotta get those planted. 
All right, Emily first, then we go chop trees. That's the plan. We're gonna clear off the farm. As soon as that silo's done, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit farm preparation blitz. Is what we're gonna do. All right, Emily, you have asked for the oddest of items, but I have brought it to you. Rejoice! Is that the green algae I requested? It looks perfect. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Nice. Let's say hi to Pam. Hey, give me another round, Gus. Hello, neighbor. See, I'm wondering, like, if you had the money, right, you could just buy a salad every day and give it to her twice a week. Would that be enough to get you? I don't know. What do I, what do, I do with this? To the prize machine in Lewis's house. Lewis has a prize machine? Oh, an event. Well, then. Okay. This is new. Ah, hello there, Hill. Hey, Lewis. I was just loading some more prizes into the machine here. Okay. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a spirit of goodwill among the town folk, you included. Pretty simple. Sometimes when you help others out, you receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. Do I have to save up, or...? My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. I just want to help. I did it before there were prizes. I will continue to do it. Is that so? I also I like getting paid. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> At any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in town. It's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Good luck out there. Okay, great. Uh, Lewis, good evening. Place anything you want to sell in your shipping box next to your house. I'll be interested to see what kind of things you put in there. Um. So. Okay. Oh. And then you just pay a ticket and then you get whatever the next thing is. Interesting. Well, 12 carrots is not super helpful for me right now. Hi, Marnie. I think you'll love having a little friend on the farm with you. I think so, too. I'm sure Tiger will be a little shy at first. Takes a while for an animal to get comfortable in a new setting. Uh, but as soon as we harvest some of our currently growing crops, like the parsnips, for example... Maybe we can plant... How long does this take? Like seven days? Six days? What is this? Three days? Oh, plenty of time. Plenty of time. And carrots are worth a good chunk of energy. That is lovely. Right, let's toss those in there. And maybe what we do... Maybe do we get out the acorns right now? No, I think we just clear some more land. Just come on down. We'll just we'll just clear some trees out. As many as we can, anyway. Clear out a couple stumps. Alright, one, two, three, four, five swings, and we got five wood. That's that's it's not exactly a a high rate of return on investment of energy, is what I'm saying. We can probably do like one or two more trees here. If we eat all the berries, we could probably do more than that, but... I'd rather not have to eat all of my berries. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe this will give us two acorns again. <laughs> wow, worked out! Okay, two for one special. We're getting two maple seeds as well? It's like we did before. No, just one. A lot of a lot of pine trees in this game. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, we are feeling exhausted, but... I think we still have a little left there we can use. Right then, to the south. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, but... We've got a little bit of time that we can run through and... See what's going on down here. Grab a few berries. And some other forage as well, should we happen upon it. And I remember to click the button. The forest is loaded with berries. It's just a matter of being able to weave through all of the... The random items blocking your pathing. <laughs> of which there is quite a lot. Okay, it's almost 11. I don't know that we want to push our luck super far in terms of, you know, being able to get back. So I'm not going to go way to the bottom of the map, I don't think. What's over here? Hello. Oh, there is one. Some days there is, some days there is not. All right, we're at 24. Um, how much energy do we get from this? 25. It's, you know, it's not a lot. Okay, but it's free. It doesn't cost us anything to grab them. And if it's 25 per berry, then that is 600 energy sitting right there. Uh, and that's, that's a pretty good amount, really. It's a pretty good amount. On top of the mayonnaise, of course. Lest we forget that. And I mean, how could we, really? Robin's still hard at work. Oh, what a great day of Stardew. Okay. Go to sleep. Sure. Do 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 do. What did we get? Well, we made $479. That's great. Or G, whatever. The 17th of spring, you say? Well, we'll have to see what that holds for us in the next episode. Journal updated. Ah, feeding animals. We can now do the silo. Okay, well, we'll take care of that next time because it's not going to save. All right, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for being here. We are over 3,000 G now. The life is good. We are moving on very well in this playthrough half income. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're enjoying all the new content. As we continue to push forward into the game, of course, we will unlock even more 1.6 goodness. So stick around for that. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to see the videos early and you made it to the end of this video, just remember all channel members who are uh, part of that program get access to the videos before they go live to the public. So if you really want to see that next episode right away, it's a way you can do it. We're at almost 50 channel members right now. Pretty awesome. Thank you all so much for the support. You are amazing, and we'll see you next time.